Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Today, I'd like to talk about Chat GPT. So, if you don't know, you can go to chat.openai.com and you can ask it some really natural language questions and it will generate things for you answers. You can even ask it to write code for you, and that's exactly what I did today. I asked AI to write a game for me, and believe it or not, it's actually a playable game. So, it started out with the outline. I wanted to try 3D RPG first, but that might have been a little bit too complicated. So I went back to the basics and I went to 2D RPG. So it generated me, ooh, that wasn't the intention of course, not a problem. It generated me a 2D RPG, first of all 3D RPG with the player class because it didn't have the player class in it, it didn't have the world class in it. So you need to ask it to generate those. Of course it did, perfect. Now. We have our 2D RPG, which I'm going to, to make it a little bit simpler. And here he also included the player and world classes automatically. So we imported those into the code. We have our class player right here. And if we move down a little bit, we have our class world that ChatGPT gave us. Thank you very much. Now attack method wasn't defined yet. So we had to define that and that is exactly what we did. We went to player, we defined the attack method. So perfect. Now we had to go onward because now we have our attack method. Now we need to move towards the enemies object and the world object because we need to generate enemies of course but it gave me an empty array no enemies were generated well what did i have to do i have to populate it with enemies so this is a new class this class didn't exist yet so i made it write that class for me i have an object enemy now with different attributes and they all have attack power for example then my guy didn't have attack power yet, so that was a real easy fix. All I did was I added some attack power, giving me this result. Don't mind the art, it's just temporary, it's just some art that I had. I can let Dali generate some art for me. But as you can see, I can actually attack enemies right now. It detects when there are no enemies nearby and it detects how much damage I do. Isn't that freaking awesome? It actually made a playable game. And I know that it's not perfect yet, but with a little bit of tweaking, this can be a great game. That is crystallistworld.png. This is my enemy. It moves around. There's no real collision yet. You can go anywhere outside of the screen. But my friends, if you think that AI is doubling in intelligence every single year, this is gonna get crazy. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this small little intermezzo and i will see you in the next one bye amazing hacker